Ashley and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I kind of have a little bit of a big uh, hiccup haul because um, I've been meaning to like uh, do this like a couple weeks ago, but I just um, kind of got lazy and all and just, yeah, like uh, there's a couple times I got a little bit tired and I just wanted to, you know, relax. But uh, now I'm finally doing it and I, like I said, I got quite a lot of stuff. It's some stuff I got at Target, Kohl's, and just yesterday I went to Burlington and Marshalls and also Ross, but I didn't get anything at Ross. But anyways, let's get right into the haul. Okay, so I guess we'll get to my Kohl's stuff because I have a bunch of my Kohl's stuff uh, in this tiny bag right here because it features some stuff I uh, got at this one uh, Kohl's location and there was another one Kohl's location I went to because uh, um, I actually went to Kohl's with my dad and uh, grandma. We were just, she needed, me, needed more like, um, I guess I would say intimate like stuff. Mo <laughs> I'm trying to keep this appropriate so on my channel a little bit. But anyways, these are the, some of the stuff I got at Kohl's when I was uh, shopping with my mom. Okay, that's everything. <laughs> so the first things I got at uh first things I got at like a uh, Kohl's and all uh I got a lot of elf stuff, but also uh I picked up something from Bird's Bees. And I've been like uh recently been trying to like uh switch a different acne skincare routine routine because um Apparently I might have forgotten about this, but I saw a poll on this on Influencer and my sister told me that uh, about CeraVe being not uh, cruelty free. So I decided to hop on the cruelty uh, free train with her in terms of acne like skincare. So I got these uh, from e.l.f. The bounce bag jelly cleanser and also their toner as well because I saw a picture of like how like a little like a step-by-step -step, uh, acne skincare routine uh, picture on the internet because I just feel like want to follow it a little bit. But anyways. And I also uh, picked up a taupe, uh, this uh, e.l.f. instant lift brow pencil in instant the shade of the shade of taupe. Meant for like a platinum blonde uh, hair and all. But, and I feel like this could have could work for me as well because I'm a blonde but I got this mostly with for like a because I have a platinum blonde hair dye that I'm gonna show you guys later and I got the brow gel in a the wow brow uh, volumizing fiber gel in a taupe as well to go along with this and I also picked up this uh, Burt's Bees Tinted lip balm in hibiscus. Hibis hibiscus. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. <laughs> and I got this because I saw one of my favorite YouTubers use this uh, for her Sophie from the movie Mamma Mia tutorials, and I just thought I want to pick this up. Now, on to the stuff I got when I was uh, shopping with my grandma and dad. And I think it's the first thing I picked up. I only got like four things at uh, the Kohl's that's nearby their house. I got this Lorac uh, lipstick that was on clearance. It's one of their alter ego uh, lipsticks. I, as you guys probably know, I have a lot of all, a lot of their alter ego stuff, like mostly their lip glosses. And this is in the shade uh, Centerfold. And this is a nice uh, neutral shade and I didn't even know this but they have like the lipsticks lip glosses and I'm wearing one of their liquid lipsticks and they all have a nice uh, soft uh, vanilla scent and I love that because I love vanilla and it smells really good I also got this cargo uh, cosmetics clear mascara and it's a uh, waterproof and I only picked this up because I 
because it said waterproof i didn't even look what a uh, color shade it was i thought it was gonna be a black mascara but apparently it's clear which i kind of thought it's gonna be one of those like lash up primers but um because my mom uses lash primer and i don't and i thought of giving this to her but i was like um oh, you know what i might keep this to try out um maybe i might use this someday in more like more natural no makeup makeup look someday i don't know and i also picked up a, a couple nyx uh ultimate shadow palettes uh it's what they look like i got the warm neutrals which is this one right here and i also got uh their smoky and highlight palettes and i picked this up a uh, like warm neutrals palette because I've been seeing this on one of my favorite YouTubers uh, channels and I've always wanted to try these and also like I've seen uh, one of my favorite YouTubers uh, like a show a picture of a like of her on, her, on her screen uh, for like dupes for the shades she uses for the high end like uh, makeup eyeshadow palettes that she's been she uses a lot on her channel so I got that. I also went to Target. I got a lot of stuff at Target, which um, I picked up this uh, Maybelline Fit, a Teen Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer because I always wanted to try this out. And I've seen this like go viral on TikTok, and uh, I've been seeing like kind of a mixed up review of this, and it started. And the way I've seen people like apply this, I'm starting to think, is there like some kind of right way and wrong way of applying this? Cause um, like I've seen like some like uh, saying they like it and some, they, some people saying they're, they don't like it because it looks kind of like the way it's applied uh, looks kind of chromey and nasty. But um, I just wanted to try it out so bad, see how it works on me. Plus, I want to see if there really is a, a right way and wrong way of applying this. And I'm just going to also pick... Oh, yeah. This is another thing I picked up from Maybelline. It's the Superstay Matte Ink uh, Liquid Lipstick in Explorer. Because, um... I mean, I'm going to... Like, obviously, talk about this later. But I guess I'll talk about it now. Because this is going to be hard to explain, uh... Later, but um, I did sh show this uh, in my Corolla Mag Corolla Collection 70s inspired glam look that's up on my channel now. And I featured this uh, platinum hair dye uh, from Garnier, and I've been talking like a uh, about this a little bit that I was gonna use this for my Ursula makeup tutorial that I have planned coming up because um, I just thought I want to do. Her look, while well, I still have this short hair, even though uh, hers is probably more like a pixie, but um, I just thought I would uh, do it because my hair is currently um, short, as we can tell. And I also want to do uh, Prudence, I believe I'm saying her name right, uh, Prudence uh, from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which uh, if you guys have not seen that show, it's, uh, I didn't know about it until I was in 11th grade it, in high school. Uh, we were reading the Crucible and all, and um, there was a show called uh, Chilling Adventures on Sabrina, and it was new at the time, uh, which is basically the same thing as uh, the as the 1990s show, Sabrina Teenage Witch, but obviously different, which I've actually seen the trailer of Chilling Adventures and Sabrina and just was looking at it like, no, not my cup of tea, especially as a Catholic. <laughs> But anyways, I want to do her makeup look, and I've been trying to find the dupe uh, for the lipstick that they used on the show, and I could not find it anywhere in the stores. I have to find it online, and I currently don't have a job yet, so um, I'm thinking of trying to fix a, a black lipstick and this uh, liquid lipstick together to see if I can get that close enough or exact uh, color uh, that she has on the lips. So we'll see what happens. I also picked up some false lashes. They're not like a full strip of false lashes. They're like individual lashes, which I know they used 
on the Chilean Adventures of Sabrina show, but this was the only individual lash up set I could find. There are the Ardell lash trios. I was trying to find the ones that just say individual because individuals because I know they like I said, I know they use it on the show, but this was the close enough individual lash up set that I could find. So I think this could work. And I also got the some lash glue to go with it. It is obviously a, the one and only famous duo glue. And it's like a strip lash adhesive, a heat adhesive, and it's the tip was like the application tip is like this. Okay. Oh, and I also got a totally unrelated, but I got a hair ties for myself whenever. Hopefully when I get my hair, my long hair, um, back, I can use these to, like, uh, section my hair when I'm, like, using hair dye and all because I never did, uh, section my hair. I just, like, just, like, was, like, rubbing, I would, like, uh, squeeze them out on my, uh, on the glove that's covering my hand and just, like, rub it in. And I want to try to, like, section it off this time because my hair is kind of, like, on the thickish side. So, yeah. And also, I got the e.l.f. Da Daily Hydration Moisturizer to go with my uh, new e.l.f. skincare routine. <laughs> and I also want to pick up their eye cream as well because um, I was trying to, like, uh, wonder, like, how old you have to be to, like, you know, be applying eye cream and all. And most people, like, started, at, like, they're in their 30s when they you know, say the wrinkles and it, some people started like in their early 20s because prevention is key. Now I, now it's making me think I should probably uh, buy some eye cream because, you know, like I said, prevention is key. <laughs> and another thing I picked up from e.l.f. is their new acne fine putty primer. I've been trying to find this and get my hands on this forever because I have the portalist like the full version of the poreless putty primer. I now want to get the full version of the matte putty primer because I've been loving to use this on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead, around the nose area and chin. Uh, cause that's cause at times I'm oily over there for some reason. But anyways, finally got this on my hands. I also picked up this uh, Milani blush. It's in the shade Dulce Pink. And I got this for like a, I don't know, I've been talking about uh, Brooke Shields uh, makeup tutorials. I've been talking about the Blue Lagoon and Endless Love. And um, one of my favorite YouTubers did uh, Brooke Shields and Endless Love. And uh, she used like a song kind of blush from Charlotte Tilbury. And I cannot afford Charlotte Tilbury blushes. Yeah, so I had to look for a dupe uh, for that for that blush that she used and this was the dupe I found okay. I also picked up another uh, lip balm the tinted lip balm from Burt's Bees in Red Dahlia and I'm actually planning on using these two together uh, and maybe some other tutorials I may want to do someday because if you haven't seen this video in a while, um, I did a Pretty Little Liars intro makeup tutorial a long time ago, which now looking back, it looks uh, kind of bad to me. Um, I kind of want to redo it, but um, I actually found out, I was reading some articles on like uh, the Pretty Little, the behind, behind the scenes of whoop, Pretty Little Liars, and they actually used this on uh, Trojan Belisario, who plays Spencer. Uh, on the show like during like uh around season six and seven after the five year uh jump and all so yeah i want to use these someday on my channel okay finally moving on to the burlington stuff and marshall stuff which i'm really excited at burlington i didn't like get much but um i got more milani blushes i got the two shades that they had at the time like the two shades that they had. There's one that I already had, which is uh, Coralina. 
And I got the shade. The first one I picked up was Sunrise Serene Serenita. And this is what it looks like. It looks kind of orangey on camera. And I'm pretty sure it's an orangey blush. It looks orange on camera and in person. And another blush I picked up was Sunset Passionate. And I actually uh, had one of these in my hand. Like I was browsing around the clothes a little bit. And I dropped a... Dropped this in the store and, and it kind of fell hard and I picked it up in the little covering where it says uh, Melania popped off. So I had to like uh, put it back and get a different one. So this is a different one I picked up obviously. I did not have to buy the broken popped off uh, cover of the Milani brush I Milani blush I dropped. And... Finally, the Marshall stuff. I got this W7 Absolute Lashes Mascara, which is only $2.99. The comparable price would have been mm, $4. But I looked at their website and it was uh, $4.95, which is still not bad. It was just $0.95 cents higher, but still not bad. And this is a great dupe uh, for the benefit their real mash, their real ma their real mascara. <laughs> So if you want to benefit, like, the money, the, like, the benefit, their real mascara, but can't afford it, try this one instead. And I was really excited to find this at Marshall's. It's the daughter of the Pure Cosmetics Barbie collection. It's the, one of their blush palettes. This is what the packaging looks like. So this is what it looks like. It... And this is what it looks like on the inside. It has uh, six matte uh, blush shades. But then I know it. I actually uh, did open this like yesterday. And I noticed one of them has uh, like the fifth blush has uh, a little bit of, like some kind of like, glittery sparkles in it. And I noticed it in some of the blushes. They There's like some but not a whole lot. But they're not like shim like super shimmery and all. So I can't wait to use this someday. I actually love the, like, how they did the packaging all. It's super pretty. It's pink. Got glitter. And as you know, I have a bunch, like, two of the, like, two other, the Pure Cosmetics Barbie collection. I have the eyeshadow palette right here that I got around the 4th of July uh, week. I also have the lip gloss as well that I got a while ago. So, if you want to see, like, a... Barbie, uh, another Barbie makeup tutorial, let me know. And I want to do a 70s, um, uh, Malibu Barbie makeup tutorial because I think last week or a couple weeks ago, the Mal 70s Malibu Barbie turned, I think, 50. And I wanted to do a, a makeup tutorial on this 70s Malibu Barbie, but I thought, oh, I want to wait till my, uh, like, long hair grows back and all, but, um, if you think I should do that Barbie look uh, with my short hair, let me know. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very long <laughs> makeup haul because uh, some of these stuff I got like, again a couple weeks ago and I just uh, never had the time to do uh, a full on makeup haul until now. And I'm really excited to try out some of these uh, products and hopefully someday you'll see me with platinum hair and Again, I hope this is good compared to the L'Oreal Colorista Over Bleach because in case like flashback to the like a couple months ago with the Corolla, me doing Corolla makeup tutorials, that other side was so bad. Uh, I looked uh, like a like a lighter blonde and a platinum blonde. So let's see how this goes. But anyways, please like this video and subscribe. Comment below any makeup tutorials you want me to do. Like I said, I have a lot up that I have planned coming up. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!